everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am doing this set of nails on myself and i do this in well these nails are done without design in like 17 18 minutes can you believe that they are from daily charm and their um new tips the full cover nails we'll get into all the details okay um, and then the designs, you'll see, just stay tuned. They're super cute. So these are my little dusty, crusty, chubby, wrinkly hands before. They steal those things, but at least they got cute nails on them now, after. And I really, really like these, you guys. So this is a little before again, and my cute little after. Got a little extra gel under one of the nails, but it's all good. So this is the Daily Charm gel extension tips they say they're so off. these are the coffin long um and i believe they're in the color blush yeah long and they're blush you use code top the number 10 for a discount or click the link down below to shop and these are the color ivory and these are coffin medium and i wanted to get these to show you guys the color if you want to see because i was curious especially like on my skin tone how they would translate they're not like a nude for me i don't know who they're nude for but just so you can see how the ivory looks definitely uses for them they're a good like solid color base but anyways so these are lipstick shaped nails they come in a, like a left shape and a right shape but it also depends on which way you want them either way they come with two different shapes and um they only have one length of those right now but i just want to show you those and i'm going to do a design with them and i'm so excited so I'm going to put the timer on my watch. I was just so curious how fast I could do this. And I want to follow the instructions. And I showed you guys the instructions were on the lid. So I wanted to do what they said. So I'm going ahead and sizing these to my nails. Now, I am very surprised with tips like these, like um, even with Gel X. And these are a little different. They feel a little different. Um, just how well they fit my fingers because I have flared nail beds, so I don't really have to customize them at all, really. So I started by doing the e-file, um, to just rough up the surface of the nail. Then I realized, you know, I'm doing it for you guys at home, um, who are just like DIYers, who are nail enthusiasts. So I just want to give you guys like real life what to do if you don't have all these professional tools. So just buff the back just to create a rough surface just so we have better adhesion. So you see, I pushed back um, my epinicium, which is the actual skin, and scraped off any um, cuticle, which is the dead skin living on the nail plate. And then, so I kind of buffed the nail. Um, then I'm just lightly going with the e-file. It looks aggressive, but I promise you it's not. And it's like a one, I forget what the grid, but that file's <laughs> been a little bit used, and I just lightly go over to etch it. So I cleansed the nail with acetone, dusted it off just to get them nice and clean. So I am using the dehydrator or the pH bond, same thing, on the nail. And again, I'm going by the instructions that they told me. I'm not doing anything above. And then um, I'm going to apply the bonder, the no lifting bonder. And they said you can apply it on the back of the nail for better adhesion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, okay, they didn't tell me to buff. I said I said all that, and they didn't tell me to buff the back of the tips, but logic just tells me. And I didn't do it rough. You don't want to deform the back of them. You don't want to press hard. You don't want to... I just lightly just use that soft buffer, and it's a buffer you can get from... I get those from Sally's Beauty Supply. It's the Polar Puff Buffer. I've been getting those since I was a kid. So I applied that... Um, primer to my nail plate and then I'm using the extension gel now what you'll notice here if you're familiar with the gel x is that they tell you to apply the gel to your natural nail and cure it but these didn't instruct me to do so and I said hmm, I'm gonna do what they say so this is my technique and there is a learning curve but I want to say it's pretty simple I just brush a thin layer like kind of I kind of estimate how far it will go down to the nail it's kind of like a slip layer if you've been watching my channel for a while we talk about slip layer, um, and I don't want to waste y'all time and go into that, but you see I'm just applying a very thin layer and then a little more at the back of the nail. That way we can angle it like at 45 degrees starting at the back and press it down slowly trying to ensure there's no air bubbles. On this nail, I believe I um, 
Got a little extra, had a little excess at the tip, as you can see. Wasn't a big deal, but you know, you could see it. But you could always polish over these as well. Um, it's just cool that you have this nice, beautiful blush pink color that you don't have to worry about polishing and etc. So I'm just doing the same process and I'm carrying them in the light. Let me tell you guys, if you're unfamiliar, I apply the gel right apply it to my nail and then i'm going into my uv slash led lamp if you're interested in a good one look down below i should have a link in the description bar to one so i go off to the side and i have it kind of hanging over my desk and i put my finger under there while i'm holding it just to get it secured and cured um so it's kind of hard for me to set up to show you guys that but just whatever setup allows you to hold the nail with one hand while the other hand is getting the nail so kind of a hands-free situation if you can conjure that up that's you know what you need to do so now i'm just kind of gaining the shape a little bit and no it's, it's shaped pretty pretty well it just has a little you know the little tabs where they tear it off at and i just like my edges a little bit sharper and so i'm just buffing the surface of the nail now i can only compare these again directly to the gel x um and they usually tell you to wipe with acetone or you can buff as well. I decided to just buff with this polar buffer. And again, it looks aggressive, but I am not going, I'm not pressing hard. It's not taking, it's not thinning them out. Let me tell you that. It's not thinning them out. It's just removing the shine off the top of the surface. So whatever it looks like, that's not what's happening here. So about 17 minutes had passed at this point and I'm, didn't record the clip of me showing you my watch, but please, 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 trust me. That's what it's been. And so, yeah, it's just one hand. But you go ahead and double that, and I'll say about 30 minutes or so, you would have, like, just perfectly cute pink nails. You go ahead and put a matte top coat, shiny top coat, and be done with these perfect coffin-shaped nails. How about that? So this part actually took me the longest is actually doing the design. I'm using these decals and um, you see it on the screen. They're from Daily Charm um, and they do have them in silver. I showed these on a live video and last I looked, they had them in silver. So in this one, I applied crooked, so I, it was too crooked. So I had to file it off <laughs> and fix that. Um, so um, this took me so long because I was planning the design as I was going and I was kind of a little lax and watching TV. I was like, oh snap, I'm timing myself. So, you know, all in all, if I had this plan from the beginning, this would take next to no time. You see me, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm just, I'm just chilling in my office watching TV. And, um, yeah, so I'm just kind of like envisioning what I want it to be. And me on my own self, I'm a sucker for like unity with like all the nails, the same little designer accent on all of them. Very simple neutral tones that's just that's just me you know so i'm using the stay put jelly the jewelry tube in a gel is that what it said i don't know but it's from daily charm it's a really good gel it's costly i'll be very honest with you but if you can't find a good one that's one and when you um use crystal gel always ensure that you s kind of set soak soak's not the good one you don't want the gel to go on top of the crystal but you want to set it into the gel so that it kind of goes over the lip the edge of the crystal you want to sink it into it so a little bit of excess and then you want to blend out the excess so you don't have a line of demarcation that you can tell like there's a big you see me with the tip of the crystal katana that's what i'm using if you're curious is a crystal katana for my crystals but you'll see me um use the other end of the um crystal katana and i usually use a brush but you see me kind of remove that excess gel and kind of spread it out just so i don't have this chunk of gel because even though it's clear you're going to be able to see that so we don't want to see that so you see me just wiping that off move it around i usually do it like i said with a brush but you know whatever works sometimes with my finger it just kind of depends it's a little bit of a thicker gel so it's a little bit it doesn't make sense. It sounds like an oxymoron, but it's a little bit easier to wipe off just because of the viscosity that it is. So I wanted a little extra 
just like just the slightest little accents on two little nails a thumb and the ring finger so i just applied just a couple more stones on the thumb and one more stone on the ring finger and my little gold beads um i need to buy more find them from a good supplier i need to find one i can't remember I've been having these for years i can't remember where i got them from you see i drilled a hole in the top of the lid because i acetoned it should that's a verb now acetoning something <laughs> how many of y'all have acetoned something leave a comment down below um so i cured it in the light because we are using a gel every the gels need to be cured in the light per the recommended time that the manufacturer tells you so after i cured the jewelry gel in the lamp and had the stones all secure i'm going ahead and top coating um you can use your favorite no wipe top coat i am but ooh, there's some really great ones if you want some recommendations like i said this this is what i'm trying out let me just cat got my tongue i don't even know why um but daily charm this is like it's not even a sponsored video they did send me these things well they allowed me to pick them out but y'all know i love daily charm either way anyway every day I, I like them i've been using them since before i was a licensed nail tech so that just speaks to how much i truly truly enjoy their selection of art goods and stuff and um so they have a great top coat. Joya Mia does. There's some really great ones out there. So now it's been 49 minutes and we're completely done. Like I said, the actual applying the actual nails, the extensions, only took about 17, 18 minutes. That's it. So the design took me the other 30 plus minutes. And in reality, like I said, if I would have planned it out, I could have I could have done it very quickly. And so we have this beautiful set of nails that was done in, you know, less than 50 minutes. The actual nails themselves, the extensions themselves, less than 20 minutes. Um, so this is perfect if you're a DIY, DIYer, a nail enthusiast, like I said, or a nail tech just starting out. I've had these on for about a week and a half now and they are durable they are looking good the they they don't have as thick of an apex as the gel x ones again those are the only ones i can compare them to right now um that you guys may be familiar with but they are durable i have bent my th i've hit my thumb and it is still here going strong these are flexible but not in a bad way all my stones are still on. They're looking good. I'm super, super surprised. And they look so nice at the cuticle area. Oh, my God. Just look at that cuticle area. It looks so good. I'm looking at it in real life. I haven't had any lifting yet. But I mean, it's been a week and a half. But, you know, if I did, it would be alarming. So I want to let y'all know, as of this recording, they are wearing very, very well. So... Again, use code tab of the 10 if you're interested in checking these out. They do have like stiletto short, I think stiletto long or almond. Um, they have different shapes besides the two coffin and the lipstick shaped nails that I showed you guys. Um, so, and then of course you can get um, crystals from there. I think they have the micro beads there and these decals are so, so freaking beautiful. So, and um, I guess I might try and soak these off. I've never, ever soak off my nails or really anybody's nails even when I was doing them um when I was taking clients you know I take my mom but anyways um so I might try soaking them off see if I'm successful but anyways thank you guys for watching um don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and remember to be kind please wear your mask even though y'all's governors are silly acting safe people okay bye <laughs>